guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing another painting over my sketches video this is a pen sketch that i did of the white queen from alice in wonderland it's just a simple red pen sketch that i'm finishing over with my black g tech pen and if you've been following me for a while you might already know that i have attempted to do this painting three or four times and failed every time so today we are just gonna try to finally succeed in painting this scene and just try to see if any of the experience that i've gained in the past few months since i've tried it the last time will help me this time as per usual, I am using my Holbein gouache, and this time I've also tried using watercolors with them. It's my Sennelier tubes, but just as a spoiler, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, I just think that the piece was better off without the watercolors. For this scene I'm painting, I've always been so fascinated by this scene. I just feel like the colors and the lighting are so murky that just how it affected the, the starch white outfit and hair of the White Queen and made it look like it's a mix of all these different colors. So I really want to get those grayish pink and blue color palette for this one and that will be my main goal for this little piece so before i talked about um trying to experiment with using watercolors uh, as a companion to the gouache and uh, didn't really work this time i think even though i think even though before i have tried this and it's been successful in those times. I do like to add gouache to thicken up my watercolor mixes, but for this time, I think it was because I used my Sennelier watercolors in particular, but it just worked out horribly. <laughs> um, I think it's something about the binder and it being fresh out of the tube that it just made the paint really sticky and didn't really work well with the gouache. And not only that, it had this very shiny finish that just stood out completely on top of the matte finish of the gouache. So I didn't really like it. It actually really bothered me, especially since it was the darkest parts of the face where I used it on. So I did end up having to go over those areas with more gouache. Um, it was just a bad idea to begin with. At first I was actually doing okay, right when I painted the face and just her skin tone. Those things where I, ex I expected to have trouble with, I didn't really. Except for I think the forehead where I ran into just some minor troubles, but to where the actual trouble lies was actually when it came to painting everything else. So while I was able to add the blues and gray tints to her face, for some reason I really had I really had trouble applying the same concepts to her dress. Even though I think in theory it should be easier because it's just those bluish gray hues over top of the subject which is completely white so compared to applying the same hues over top of very complex skin tones but i think because i spent so much time painting people and faces that my inexperience painting anything else really showed itself here i did know that there is this greenish blue that I really want to add to her dress but it was really hard to turn down the saturation enough so that you can still see it's blue but it's also not just super bright blue and I also want there to be 
parts of her dress where the lighting is a little bit warmer compared to everything else. So that in itself was hard. I think I sort of fixed it by adding in just a little bit of the burnt sienna to the blue that I have, but it still is a very it's a very potent blue, so it's hard to bring it down without completely losing it. So yeah, I just spent so much time staring at this scene just so I can get it right that when I actually came back to studying some of the other scenes in the movie and with the White Queen wearing the same dress, I was really surprised at how bright her whole getup actually is especially in contrast to her dark makeup, so that was really surprising and that in itself just made this piece really challenging for me, just knowing how the lighting in this scene really affected her overall look. So there were a few times while I was painting this that I really tried to step away from the painting just so I could have a clearer head when I'm looking at the photo that I was trying to paint and and just so I can be in the right headspace while I try to paint it. I think my one saving grace for this piece was that I was using traditional gouache and I, ju I just enjoy painting with it so much that I wasn't really tempted to abandon this piece at all. And also because it is gouache, I was able to leave my palette to dry without rushing myself and so also was able to just reactivate my old paint mixes and didn't have to worry about mixing the exact same colors again. For her hair, it, it wasn't really as hard for me to get the hues right. I think it's a lot easier to add the pink and bluish tints on lighter colors because her hair is hit more by the light but I did have to go over some of the shadows I think even though I got the hues and colors right I still needed to finalize the values but other than that I think the hair went okay it was just getting just the overall lighting for her right that was really getting to me So when I finally decided to do the background was when I think everything finally fell into place. I initially wasn't gonna do the background at all, I was just thinking of painting her. But the effects of the lighting on her was just so strong that I think the coloring wouldn't really make sense when she's standing there by, her by herself. So. When I finally did the background and even though it's just the vaguest splashes of colors in there, I think that it really made the lighting finally make sense. And I really made sure to get the blues and the pinks in there as well as the grayish tones to the background so it would reflect the coloring on the main subject. And so I was really happy that I did decide to do the background. I think after that I had more of a clearer direction where I wanted to go with the piece. And so it was just a matter of laying down more, more details to really bring the full picture together. And now for a little personal update. 
we may be traveling soon well as soon as we can figure out our visas because we needed to have it reinstated so i don't really know if we're going to officially move there because my husband is currently deployed but for now my setup hasn't been finalized yet and while there is a possibility of me needing to pack again soon it's probably gonna be just more videos like this in the foreseeable future i just think that a lot of the videos i have planned really require me to have all of my space laid down correctly especially the oil painting ones everything is just isn't settled right now so i think for now there's just gonna be a lot more painting videos maybe a scroller box unboxing if it ever decides to come to me now <laughs> since it's been more than a month since it got shipped so i don't really know where it is right now i think i also talked about this before but it's always apparent in later stages of my paintings where i'm using paint that is at its thickest but the paint, that, the paint that I use don't really go as thick as my older paintings. I know people have talked about their paintings cracking and I can even see in my, just, in my older paintings that they seem to be a lot thicker than my recent ones. But I think it has something to do with the paints that I use because it was really hard for me to mix my colors with my Mia gouache before so I do end up adding more and more paint to my mixture just so I can get the colors just right but with my Holbein's I, I think it's because it is so easy for me to mix with them that I usually can just get the exact color in three or four tries is that my paint doesn't really get as thick as before maybe the biggest thing is that it's also just so pigmented that it's very easy to paint with them even when they're watered down but i don't know it just always strikes me when i'm looking at my paintings after i've painted them just how light my most recent gouache paintings are compared to my older ones when you can really just feel the weight of the paint when you're holding the paintings it's just an observation i don't know how important that really is in the big picture but in case you guys want to try different kinds of gouache just so you guys know what to expect and as i'm approaching the final the final stages in this painting one last thing i want to address is that i sometimes get comments about how they like that i don't cover up my pen sketches completely when i'm doing videos like this and that you can still see the red lines underneath and i really wish i could say it was intentional but there was only ever one instance where i intentionally left out my pen sketches and i think it was my third paint over my sketches video but for almost all of them i do actually try to cover up as much as i can i think i'm just really bad at uh, editing my paintings or i just really have bad attention to details and also because i spend so much time staring at the paints over the sketches that i might not even notice the actual sketches underneath I think it's just a combination of those things that really don't work in my favor and make me miss <laughs> details like that. Even on this one where I was aware of that happening and I've already read the comments about that. And when I've tried my best to completely cover everything up, now as I'm editing and doing the voiceover, I can still see a lot of line work showing through like on her skirt. So I just don't think I have the eye for detail like some people have. For me, when a painting is already as close as I can get to what I have in mind, I think I just lose some of the more important details completely and just stop where I think I can't stop. That is it for this one. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you especially to my patrons. 
I know a few of you didn't get a thank you message when you guys subscribed and that's because I didn't have internet for almost 5 days depending on when it comes back I still don't have it at 4 days in I don't even know when I can upload this but yeah thank you everybody for watching and I will see you guys again soon